My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out. In this video we'll be checking out some great designs for the nuclear power plant and thinking about how we can create our own version. This is a Yoko Bloke's city, and like most people, he has put all three pieces of his nuclear plant um, together. And, like many others, he's tucked it into the corner of his city, away from everything else, away from his residential areas. Um, here's Fruby City, and he's done almost exactly the same thing, apart from this time um, left to right rather than up to down. And as I'm, about to, as I'm about to design my own nuclear power plant, I've come across to their cities to try and get some inspiration, to see what decorations people have got, um, to see how they've positioned them, and, and things like that. And option number one definitely seems to be to just find a, a little area tucked away, stick those three pieces together and um, ta-da, the nuclear power plant is born. But supposing I wanted to go a little bit further, add a few decorations, it goes quite nicely with the Springfield Mountain, I think. It gives it that idea of being away from the residential area, but Nathaniel's here has actually put it right next to the Simpsons home, and I'm not sure that I necessarily want that close proximity. However, I do like um, the idea of uh, the Burns limo, or something kind of Mr. Burns related being uh, near the nuclear power plant, as that obviously is, is a key part of his identity. Um, so any kind of Burns motifs that we can get in, or we can afford at the moment will be useful as well but show rub has really gone uh, or show rob has really gone um to town with his one here he's extended the car parks out he's given it a second chain link fence we've got um <coughs> <coughs> several um hazard signs and traffic cones around the place that i think look excellent and We've even kind of surrounded it with other kind of industrial looking buildings like the Channel 6 Studios. You know, these very, very kind of uh, clean and um, grey build, greyish buildings kind of going together, even if um, Santa is still paying them a visit as well. Double, double Burns Manor, uh, Burns Limos, and the, the donut van there as well, because I seem to remember that episode where Marge came to try and sell, I think it was pretzels to the nuclear power state plant, so that kind of works there as well. But here's Mel Designers. Now, what I really like about Mel Designers one is the way that he has completely completely isolated his nuclear power plant by almost totally surrounding it with water. Um, again, we've got um, this idea of separation from the rest of the city with this potentially dangerous plant. He's also gone for that double fence idea. Again, we've got a Burns limo, but this time we've got a police car as well. And that little kind of tree surrounding to it um, as well gives it a lovely... Um, framing which kind of again separates it from the water and that kind of extra hedge he's put in there as well uh, works well incidentally of course pro close proximity to i think that's the burns manor manor excuse me if i'm wrong because i haven't unlocked that far yet but that kind of burns identity once again comes strongly through um, in this design as well Let's just check out a couple more designs before we start looking at um, my, my own. Uh, this is Nuclear Videos uh, HD, who has an absolutely outstanding city. Um, he's kind of again gone down that Channel 6 route by combining a few of the nuclear power station ideas with the Channel 6. And what I really like about his design is the fact that he, I think this is the first one I've seen where he hasn't just stuck all three items of the nuclear power station together. Uh, we've actually got two of them stuck together with one of them off to the, uh, to, to the side. Burns Manor with traffic cones, very much saying, you know, this is my private car parking spot um, the channel 6 accessories in there and um, this is quite a unique power station and I really like the way he's made his um, stand out from the other designs that we have seen so far a combination of horizontal and vertical there as well um, Omrissimo's um, has again gone for that for taking that fencing idea he's also split apart the various part of um, parts of the nuclear power plant and really made the car parking um, idea a feature of his city I mean basically his power plant is all car park for all the workers that would need to be in there um, very decorations like the dumpster and again we've got the uh, the, the donuts in there give us lots of op options to work with um, his is next to the residential area but the fact that he's got things like that double fencing the bench the the lamppost helped again to give it that little bit of separation uh, he doesn't seem to have a door for anyone to get into the power plant but I guess that's uh, a <laughs> lesser concern so here's my little design. Now, obviously, my, I'm still at a far lower level, and I don't have infinite space. Um, I would love to be able to uh, pull apart from the, the water in, with some water in some way. But for now, we're going to go with uh, a bit of double fencing um, and a bit of a hedge closer to the residential side. Um, I've just got um, a few of the leftover kind of chemical... Um, uh, barrels down there to give the impression of a, a little bit of danger and because I've just hit level 16 
that um, the the hazard barrier has has just been um, unlo unlocked as well with perfect timing because that's going to help me fill in some of the gaps and also give me some extra decorations to set my nuclear power plant um, apart from the others. And even Mr. Burns says that my design is. So that's my version of the nuclear power plant, especially for a lower level player. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm going to be decorating my Duff Stadium next. So if you've got an interesting uh, version of that that I could look at, please do let me know in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. Um, do give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and uh, reviews and let's plays and stuff um, from me. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.